So in this video, we're going to look at battery sizes and how the different size of battery or the amount of volts running through uh, affects an item. At the moment, we've kind of used nine volt batteries, which is great. So if I start my simulation, this uh, battery is lighting up really well. Uh, now, if I were batteries, it's not a battery, it's a, it's a bulb, isn't it? Now, if I were to take this bulb here and let's go to all components and let's get another bulb. my bulbs. There we go. Uh, now what hopefully if I connect these together you should see if I start my simulation is now we've got two bulbs lighting up. Now they're not actually quite as bright as the one bulb so if I uh, it's not always easy to see this if I do one bulb, that bulb is actually brighter. So let's add more bulbs in. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we're going to add these, connect these all together. And if I run it, okay, you're now starting to see these bulbs are slightly, they're not quite as, as bright as the other bulbs that we were having. Uh, that's because there's only nine volts, and each of these take nine volts. So that 9 volts is now being divided across all of these um, bulbs. Okay, so we have different ways of solving this problem. Uh, what we could do is we could add in another battery. Let's uh, go up to our power sources and add in another battery. Now if we add in another battery, what should happen, okay, you may just be able to tell that these have now got brighter because there's more power running through. Now, every item in an electric circuit takes a certain amount of power, okay? And if you don't have enough power, then they're not going to be work as effectively. Now, we've been using bulbs. What if we try an LED? So I'm going to LED. There we go. Uh, I can change on this one the color, so that's a nice green LED. Now, this battery looks massive compared to this LED. Well, the thing is, it is. It's really big. So when we connect up our LED to our bulb, we press Start Simulation. Okay, and nothing really much is happening at the moment. Ah, now that is because I, on an LED, neg the longer side goes to positive and the shorter side goes to negative. Uh, so that's why the electricity wasn't running through it. Now, I've changed it the right way. Let's run the electricity through. And there, can you see that explosion sign? So it says, if I put my mouse over, it says, current through the LED is 915 MA. That's through the amps. While absorbed maximum is 20. So I am almost five times more power than I need. So it's going to explode. It's going to bang. The same way that if I took a light... I took two light bulbs. Uh, sorry, I took one. I'm doing this the wrong way. Let's take one light bulb. Sorry, I took two batteries. So now I've got 18 volts. Now remember, I said each light bulb takes nine volts. So I'm going to use two batteries now. When I run this, bang again. So it says there, current through the light bulb is 353 amps or m amps while the maximum is 250. So <clears throat> we're putting too much power through it and it's breaking um, that item. But as we've said, if we don't put enough power, the item may work. Some of them don't work, but they may work, but they will not work uh, with enough power. They will not work uh, as effectively. So I can show that again using one of these batteries, these 1.5 amp batteries. If we run these, Suddenly we've got a very dull light. It's not as bright as if we were using the 9 volt battery. Okay, So the thing to know about batteries and volts are too much and the items won't work. They will break. Uh, they probably won't explode. They might smoke a bit. Um, or they might, uh, for instance, the filament in the light might burn away. Uh, not enough and they may not work, but if they do work, they won't be working to their full capacity.